In this video, let us see how to draw an ear diagram for a given description. We need to model an ear diagram for the description shown here. A university registrar's office maintains data about the following entities, courses, including number, title, credits, syllabus, and prerequisite. Course offerings, including course number, year, semester, session number, instructors, timing, and classroom. Students, including student ID, name, and program. Instructors, including identification number, name, department, and title. Further, the enrollment of the students in courses and grades awarded to the student in each course, their enrolled form must be appropriately modeled. Construct an ear diagram for the registrar's office. Document all assumptions that you make about the mapping constraints. From the description, we can identify four different entities, courses, course offerings, students, and instructors. Courses including number, title, credit, syllabus, and prerequisite. That means the courses has attribute, course number, title, credit, and syllabus. The prerequisite of one course is another course. Hence, we can model this as a recursive relationship. So one side we can map as main course, another side we can mark it as prerequisite. So this means that a course has another course as prerequisite. One course can have many prerequisites. Hence, the mapping and strain here is N. Similarly, one course can act as a prerequisite for many different courses. Hence, the mapping constraint here it is n is to m, that is many to many cardinality. Course offerings including course number, year, semester, session number, instructors, timing, and classroom. Here the course number is the attribute of the entity course. So that means this course offering is a weak entity that is dependent on the strong entity course. So we can have a weak relationship. This course offering is dependent on this entity course. A single course can have many course offerings, but a course offering is of a particular course. So that means here it is one. So it is one too many cardinality. The attributes of course offerings are session number, year, semester. The instructor is drawn as a separate entity. So we can have a relationship between the course offering and the instructor. A course offering can be taught by many instructors and one instructor can teach many course offerings. So that means this is also many to many. Next, the course offering can have attribute timing and also classroom. Instructors including identification number, name, department, and title. So that means the attributes of the instructor are identification number, name, department, and title. Students including student ID, name, and program. So the attributes of student are student ID, name, and program. Further, the enrollment of students in courses and grades awarded to students in each course they are enrolled for must be appropriately modeled. So we can have a relationship between the student and course offering. The student enrolled for a particular course offering. And we should model this grade also. So the grade is not the attribute of the student, nor the attribute of course offering. So it is an attribute when the student enrolls for a particular course offering. That means the grade, it is an attribute for relationship enroll. The grade is obtained by the student for that particular course offering. Hence, grade is, at, is an attribute for the relationship enroll. A student can enroll for multiple course offerings and a course offering can be attended by multiple students. Hence, this is also many to many relationship. This is the final ER diagram for the description shown in the beginning. Thank you.